Good morning students. In the previous videos we have done estimation of numbers. Then we did estimation for the sum and difference. Today first we are doing estimating product and quotient. Now first question we have to find the product and we will round it off to nearest hundreds. Now here question is 968 multiplied by 387. Now as we have done in the previous questions, first of all we will check the digit at tens place. Now here it is 6 so it is greater than 5. Greater than 5 means last two digits will become 0 and we have to do plus 1 in hundreds place. So this number rounded off to 1000. Second number 387. Now here again we have to see the digit at tens place. It is also greater than 5. If it is greater than 5 we have to do plus 1 in the hundreds place and tens digit and unit digit both will become 0. So 387 rounded off to 400 and now simple multiplication 1000 multiplied by 400 so 1 2 3 4 5 5 zeros are there so I have taken 5 zeros and 4 ones are 4 so simple answer it is 4 lakh similarly we have to find the division also so let's take one question of division Numbers are 2,838 and 125. First, let's round off 2,838. Again, we have to check the digit at tens place. Because it is 3, it is less than 5. So, only last two digits will be replaced by 0. That's why 2,838 rounded off to 2,800. Now let's see for 125. Here again let's see the tens digit. It is 2 which is less than 5. If it is less than 5 then last two digits will be replaced by 0. So 125 rounded off to 100. And now division. So 2800 divided by 100, when we will divide these numbers, we are getting 28 as answer. So this is how to round off the numbers. We have done for addition, subtraction, for product and for question. Now the next topic which we are taking, it is formation of greatest and smallest numbers. This you have already done in your previous class. It is just a revision for you. Form the greatest and smallest three digit numbers using the digits once. Let's take first question. Digits are 2, 1 and 0. Now we have to make greatest number as well as smallest number and only three digit number. So first of all, I am starting greatest number. Now which one is the greatest digit here? 2. That's why 2 is written first. Then next one is 1. That's why 1 is written. And the last one is 0. So at last 0. So the greatest number is 210. Now let's talk about smallest number. Remember this that whenever we are writing smallest number, 0 cannot come in the first place. Why? Because then it will become a two digit number. That's why 0 should be there after the first digit. So here first the smallest one is 1. After that second place yes we can write 0. And then after that the next number that is 2. So the smallest number is 102. Remember this 0 will not come here at the first place. Otherwise it will become a two digit number. Now coming to the second question numbers that digits are 9, 3, 8. 
it's a simple one for you if we are making greatest three digit number we have to take first the greatest digit 9 then 8 and then 3 so my number is 983 and now if I have to form smallest number then it is just reverse of these numbers I will begin with the smallest digit then the next one 8 and then the biggest one 9 so answer is 389 so this is how to form the greatest and smallest numbers using the digits once now this is an assignment for you you will write all possible three digit numbers using 9 0 and 8 only once